Pawtucket's homeless will once again be able to take care of a basic need often taken for granted a hot shower. They haven't been able to have one since House of Hope lost its lease in July, but all that's changing thanks to several organizations and one man dubbed the soup man. Alexandra Leslie has the story new at 530. For now, city leaders acknowledge that this is a temporary solution, but Peter Kelleher hopes that his portable shower will bring awareness to a much bigger problem. You may know Peter Kelleher as the soup man. He started his journey of giving back after tragedy struck. Because I lost a son. I loved him. Circumstances put his son Travis on and off the streets. In 2016, Kelleher says Travis passed away after battling addiction. I had to do something to give back. So that's when he started serving soup to the homeless in Brockton. That evolved into handing out backpacks with winter clothes, toiletries, and more. Last year, his nonprofit Support the Soup Man was born. But Kelleher realized another daily necessity was missing from people's lives, and it was one he couldn't just hand out. And I said, ah, we need a shower. Here we are. Kelleher says its goal is to have a shower at every major city in New England. In Pawtucket, House of Hope's Dexter Street location had to relocate, leaving the city's homeless without a space to shower. And while many have been able to temporarily access showers through our Shower to Empower unit in Providence, we at House of Hope recognize and value that folks should be able to have this basic need met in the community of their choice. Since July, the city was able to facilitate partnerships through its homeless liaison to get the shower set up on Barton Street in the city's Conant Thread District. Clothes, food, toiletries, and haircuts will also be offered. People helping people is pretty simple, and that's what it's all about for me. The shower will be available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 12. If you want more information on how to support the soup man, we have more information on this story on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.